Oh, hi there. Didn't see you. My name's Julie and I'm from Kaid and welcome to Tune Up Tuesday. <laughs> So one thing that's really, 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 really important in playing the guitar and playing any instrument is being in tune. Now there's a few ways you can do this. Um, you can tune by ear, you can tune with a device, um, you can actually tune with apps on your phone now, which is pretty cool. Um, but I'm going to take you through exactly how to do that. So a guitar like this, uh, this is a Jazzmaster, it's not a Fender, it's a Revelation, um, is what's called a 6x. So you've got six aside here, so you, that means that the tuners are all in one row, six, six strings on a row. Uh, there is also a guitar like this. This is a Gibson SG. This has what's called three aside, three up top and three underneath. So each one of these obviously is a string. So how you tune it up, you've got up and down, depending on which way you turn the tuner. However, one thing to remember on the underside of a three-way guitar, like this through your side. Up isn't always down and down isn't always up. Some people string these very differently. Some people don't string them correctly. So that might change depending on what um, your guitar is strung like. So just turn it up. If it goes up, brilliant. If not, switch it round. So there's a couple of different devices that you can use to tune. You can use one of these. This is called a pitch pipe. Um, normally in starter packs like really kind of basic starter packs you get one of these um depending on how good your ears are depends on how good um they will be to you unless you know if you can't hear pitch if you're tone deaf i mean should you be playing the guitar who cares but they're not the best um the next sort of device you can get is like this this is just like a, a plug-in tuner uh, that you can get, or it's, it's got a microphone as well, so you don't even need to plug in. Um, personally, I like to use um, a pedal tuner. That takes a direct line out from your guitar via the cable and has obviously your volume um, going straight into it. Uh, I started off using one of these. This is a uh, a Behringer or Bechlinger if you're uh, from the German uh, quarter of Europe. Um, this is obviously what, what you call a stomp box. Stomp box. Kind of hint is in the name. This is what's called a chromatic tuner. So chromatic is just uh, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D. So it goes chromatically. So that's like uh, the frets of a guitar. So you can get different tuners, uh, tunings using these, so you can tune to E flat if you want to do that, you can tune to, to open D, whatever, open C, whatever you want to do, you can do this using a chromatic tuner, you just have to know which tuning you need. So on a classic E tuning, you are E, A, D, G, B, E. Guess what? That's what your tuner should say. Um, there's different apps as well, I mentioned that before, that you can use. Um, there's one like this. This is uh, one of my favourites, it's the Boss tuning app. Um, you can get Boss pedals like this. These are super popular in the music scene. Uh, I personally use one of these, the TC Electronic uh, Polytune. You can strum and it tells you which strings are in tune or not, which is super cool. So moving on, uh, I'm going to show you how to tune by ear now. Okay, so you want to have volume okay so we mentioned that it was e a okay so five semitones up from e is a so when you press the fifth fret on e that is an a listen what happens here's the opening same note i'm gonna to tweak that slightly should probably have tweaked the other one. Go tweak this one. Okay, listen what happens. Okay, do you hear that difference? A, B. So the second one is out of tune, which means it needs to come up. If you thought it needed to come down, see a doctor. So listen to what happens. I'll try and do this with my right hand to show you, but 
it. See what happens when we start to turn it. Wait a minute. Did you hear that? So what's happening is the sound waves are going like this. And when you pull it into tune, it goes like this. And it synchronizes. That was epic, by the way. Nice. So it's a little bit out. So you would just do it until it sounds the exact same pitch. You would move on. At A plus five is D. Slightly sharp. So we just pull that down just a fraction. Too much. And again, listening for it to go in. Now the next one, D plus five is G. Oh, a bit flat. A little bit sharp now. Now the next one, unfortunately, because there is no B sharp, it just goes B, C. The next one is not a five on the G, because that just would not be right. It's number four, so fourth fret equals a B. So we go like this. A little bit sharp. Okay, and we move on. So B plus five is actually E, so that does work. Yeah, so I would say I normally I normally turn with my left hand. Uh, it's just for purpose of letting you hear it coming in tune. Um, the next way you would check is just by playing a chord. So I'm just going to play a G. Now, if your ears are super trained, uh, you can actually recognise when there is a string out of tune, which something's not right with the B. Typically. Typically, guitarists always have problem with the B string. Um, that is something to do with the amount of stretch that it's got to go from here to here um, on a, a classic kind of strat style, uh, telly style, whatever jazz style uh, head. So that is a common issue. So always check your B string. Uh, so now you're in tune with yourself. You can play anything you like and it's in tune. Great. However, you might not be in tune with the rest of the band. So that's an issue. So this is where we'd need something that has what's called perfect pitch, um, which is to 440 hertz. If you're a, a, a mathma genius like that, that like those sort of facts. Uh, so we play to 440 hertz usually in music. So we need something that tells us what that is. So this is where I would use a tuner. It's quick, it's easy. It does all the thinking for you. You just need to turn until it stops spinning, basically. So I'm going to show you my polytune in action. Um, watch this. So here is my TC Electronic polytune. I have super shaky hands, so sorry about that. Um, so this is my tuner. I've had this for probably around five or six years. Probably more. Um, I love it. Um, it's not super cheap but it's not super dear so it's right in that price point so let's see what happens i'm just going to turn this off so let's see what happens when we tune okay so that right away is telling me that we are playing an e and that is called what's called strobe effect so which means i need to come down but now it starts spinning the opposite direction so all you would do is super hard to do with one hand by the way. So you would just do it until it stops strobing like that. Next one, A, that's actually pretty good. D, pretty good. G is a little bit sharp, so we'll just pull that down a little bit. D and E. So that is how you would tune using Polytune. So this is in strobe mode right now. So as I said, you can use um, a pitch pipe, you can use the tuning app. Uh, there's loads of different ones. You get guitar tuner, stuff like that. I find the boss one is best. However, if you're in a room with other musicians, you, you're relying on a phone microphone, which isn't going to pick you up. So I would always recommend something that you can plug into uh, the little Korg unit, the uh, chromatic tuner. You can plug straight into that and there's no fuss, no hassle. So. Hopefully that has been helpful for you today. 
Um, thank you for tuning in to this first edition of Tune Up Tuesday. Um, if you have any questions, leave um, your questions, comments or whatever in the section below and we will do our best to get back to you with those answers. Okay, so uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you soon. Alrighty. Thank you.